Good morning, it's Wednesday. I've just been watering the plants. Oh, I did get some plant babies cuttings from my friend and I've brought one of them up here. Not quite sure where it's gonna go. Uh, but that's not, what, that's not what I was gonna say this morning. I have sold two more original paintings. I sold the Hadrian's Wall one last month and I saw two of the flower fusion ones yesterday. Yay! I did a bit of a deal for two and it kind of got me down probably a little bit further than I was possibly comfortable with but it's a sale, they're gone and I need to think of something else to put on the wall at the Bucky Duck. <laughs> so Wednesday I need to clean the bathrooms first but I have scanned in all of the countryside colouring pages so I need to work on those. The colouring books came for the Chantry and I'm waiting for the cards. They should be here end of the week or beginning of next week. So I, I'm sh I will be sure to bring you a video of opening that because there was thousands of them. Yeah, I don't know how to end these segments. I'll see you later. Just got back from the hairdressers. No, I haven't come on to show you my new haircut. <laughs> I got a delivery while I was out. Oh my word, so many cards. 1,140 cards all to be opened and I'm not, I'm not folding them all. <laughs> I'll just do the ones that I need to do for the Chantry first and the Christmas ones. Eee! But first, a cup of tea. <laughs> it's a bit dull in here today, so I had the lights out to photograph the front of the colouring calendar. So I decided to just try it with the lights on. Um, let's open this. I've got like 66 designs or something, all with different amounts that I've ordered. So I will have to take a bit of time. I don't like opening this with the, um, the knife though, just in case I like slice through the cards. That is the only trouble. That is. Oh, is that, if I just cut through the middle? Oh, oh it was a. It wasn't a middle one, it was a side one. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want to get in. 
I'm hoping that the ones that I want to show you are like on the top. <laughs> oh, is this just the envelopes? I think this might just be envelopes. I did think that that was a very light box. Um. I'm gonna have to tidy the desk before I get all of these out. <laughs> right, this is definitely a middle one. They're usually pretty good at putting the right amount of envelopes and and packets in. Oh, these are these are, are the DL. What? Yeah, yeah. We've seen those. We've seen those. That's a new one on the top. Yeah, that one is Morpeth Castle, especially for the Chantry in Morpeth. Oh, and there's another one here as well. This was in the vlog a week or two ago, well, last week and the week before, I think. Yay, the clock tower. Oh, nice. Oh, I think these, yeah, they're all square as well. Okay. Last box. I won't show you all of the cat ones. I redid the Midnight Cat Families, so that's a new one. Which is purple, yay! Oh, that's so cute! Santa paws! There are two packets in there. I'm gonna leave them in there because um, I need to clear some space on the desk and I need to sort out the photo for the cover that I just photographed this morning for the calendar. They're all scanned in because I need to get those to the printer so that then they can do the layout. And then I need to edit the vlog for tomorrow. So I better get on. <laughs> I'll just show you all the debris though. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I need to tidy up in here. <laughs> That's what uh, getting a massive order of cards does for you. Um, I need to, yeah, clear the desk so I can get them on there. The other thing I need to do this month, well, it's the last day of September, and this is what September's double page spread in my garden art journal looks like. Um, not, not, not finished. <laughs> and I was absolutely devastated because for the first time I've like slopped the orange on so much on these bits that they've gone over and like ruined two of my favourite 
pages. I mean that has got orange in the butterfly but I don't really want orange on so I've tried to wipe it off as much as possible. And oh, this is this is definitely one of my favourite ones. So I think what I might have to do is try and gesso over and then kind of go back. Um, it's not too bad at the top there, it's, it's the side and the bottom of, of this one. <sighs> but I can't, I can't believe it. It had done it on this August one with some green, you can see it's like on the page below. And I did go over it with some gesso, I mean you can still you can still see it a little bit, so maybe if I just go over and over and over, then it'll be redeemed. <sighs> anyway, for this page, I put some gesso on and then I really thickly kind of glooped it on and then put some watercolour on the background and then slopping the acrylic, I just literally squeezed the orange acrylic onto the page and kind of make, uh, brushed it on and then actually put water on it and kind of wiped a lot off. So I really like the effect that the gesso marks have given in the background because I was really, really, I mean, I did it on a canvas but not quite as thick as this. So I really just need to go to town with the gesso on that. Anyway, see if I can salvage the other ones and actually finish that. Probably not today, but might over the weekend. Oh my goodness, that is all of the cards. Present and correct and counted. And I'm doing my Las Vegas card dealing trick again. <laughs> dealing them out because they're not all of them were like all together. They've like printed one design, the next, the next, the next, and they're all like in little stacks like that. So I've got all of the cards. I haven't checked the envelopes yet. <laughs> I and the packets. Six print, who I get them from, and in Cornwall, the UK. Because I, I, well, I like to think, keep things local. Cornwall is like four hundred miles away, but at least it's the UK. Anyway, six print are pretty good at putting the correct amount of envelopes and stuff in. So for smaller orders, I have had the correct amount. So I'm hoping, <laughs> but I will check them at some point, but I'm not gonna do them today because I need to edit the vlog and I need to, yeah, see if I've got time after that or the energy to put some of the cards together for the Chantry, but I'm not quite sure when I will get across to take those, obviously the sooner the better would be good. I think that was everything I wanted to, oh, I, I sent off the scans and things to the printers, now they are local, they are literally like up the road. And that is gonna be going ahead. The other thing that I was thinking of doing if I do have time is some of the Minecraft drawings that I've done in the coloring book. I was gonna maybe make a calendar of that now that it's going to be smaller because I think my main kind of base of uh, um, I was going to say fans but no the, the main base that I can advertise that to who would possibly buy it would be my friends in America and obviously with it being smaller the postage is not going to be as much but I don't want to order a lot and then for nobody to buy any because the Minecraft books that I printed out, had printed out and sent to me aren't doing as well in the shops as the other ones. So I'll have to make a decision on that fairly soon because then they can get that set up in there as well. So let me know. I know a few of you are Minecraft fans who do watch my art vlogs as well. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would buy a Minecraft colouring calendar for next year. But I will sign off and go and do the rest of the things that I need to do. <laughs> and I shall see you next week. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Bye.